guys? It's Josh and Johnny here with Team Legit. Um, we're proud to bring you guys the new uh, Emacs 250mm mini quad frame. Uh, if you guys have been flying on uh, those little ZMR frames, you guys probably have heard or seen about the Emacs frames. Uh, well, we now got them and we're now proud to announce that we're an Emacs dealer. We'll be selling all kinds of Emacs products. Uh, ESCs, we already have the ESCs, but uh, motors and frames and uh, a lot of different uh, products from the Emacs frame. What do we got today, Josh? Uh, so, so far, this is the new frame that we have in today. It's a 250 millimeter mini quad frame. Um, as you can see, it's built with uh, full carbon fiber construction on these guys. Uh, it's good, true carbon fiber. I believe the arms are six millimeters in thickness, which... Uh, we copper. got the micrometer today. Yeah. Zero that out. Uh, the arms on these are a little bit thicker than the ZMR arms. Um, so that's actually really good to note that it's got nice, big, durable arms that are probably withstand a crash. The only downfall is that the arms are uh, only held on by two bolts and um, when you go ahead and put the frame together there is these little um, second little bolts that hold the frame together. I kind of didn't like that but I have built a few of these frames and they do hold up and they're very very durable. And I crash everything so I'm going to thoroughly <laughs> durability test one of these guys and just really quick here. Uh, going over the finish, uh, like Josh was saying earlier, the uh, frames come in a matte finish so they're really nice and uh, uh, that matte carbon fiber look and there is no bad machining, there's no uh, flakes or chip in carbon fiber or anything like that so they did a little bit better quality job on these uh, when they went to cut the carbon fiber. Yeah if you look at some of your mini quad frames that are out on the market nowadays especially the more inexpensive ones like <coughs> the, the ZMR frames um, <laughs> right around the the bolt holes on them you'll actually see that there's machining that's actually where it's just been punched out instead of bolted out or drilled out and it's got little frays and stuff which really isn't that structural it's more about the looks but Still, it's just one more step in the right direction for quality. Uh, another good thing about this frame that we particularly like is it's a lot bigger. You get a little more real estate to uh, work with. You get a little more room to put stuff if you're going to be putting, uh, say, receivers with telemetry and wires and things like that. Um, another kind of downfall uh, is that there's no power distribution board or uh, plates. However, yeah. as you can see, it's just a regular bottom frame. There may be something in the works, can't talk about it. But anyway, so uh, yeah, there's just a bottom plate here at the very, very bottom that kind of hold the arms together. Let's mark this up real quick and see what the uh, arm length is. It is 250, or they claim 250. But, you know, it's uh, it's it's all marginal on all how good the construction is on one of these guys. These are the little Chinese frames. Fortunately, my micrometer only goes up to 150 have millimeters. have to take it old school. Yeah, go old so. school. Um, motor center shaft. So they claim it's 250, but I'm getting a measurement that it's right about 285 millimeters. Yeah, which, about 285. Yeah, so that's that's definitely not a bad thing because we'll have to definitely check it out. But I believe these will fit six inch props on your mini quads. They do. I, I did check them out. They will fit the six inch props. Not a problem. Let me grab the ZMR frame and kind of give a comparison to. Here's the uh, whiteout frame. We'll just kind of plop that right on top. The whiteout frame is actually 250 millimeters. Yeah, it's a true 250. And as you can see, um, this is a little bit bigger. The Here, let's lay this guy on top. This is the actual bottom plate of the frame. We're going to be putting the flight controllers in between your ESCs and all your FPV gear. Yeah. So as far as compared to these, this frame, um, it's a little more. To me, what it looks like is a little more um, proportional. Because this one kind of looks like the front arms have their own sweep and the back arms have an equal sweep, but they're not proportional. This one looks a little more proportional in the sweep. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can get a shot of that uh, from top here. So there is the uh, sweep that I was talking about. The front two arms on the H kind of go out. They're a little more sweep, uh, swept. And uh, the bigger one, or the Emacs frame, looks like it's a little bit bigger on the uh, frame size. Right. And then also you can tell up front. Um, with the different engineering that they've done on this guy. This is designed with a more open platform for the cameras. Uh, this, uh, when you put these guys together, especially the ZMR frames, these little vibration dampening balls, we zip tie them, we put wire through them, we've tried everything, you will rip these on these little mini quads. But it seems like these ones, even though they're the same size, it's a little bit stouter of a, of, of a, frame. Of a frame. Yeah, especially about... Or the, the balls are a little bit tougher Yeah, they're too. a little bit tougher, and then also it seems like there's a little bit more open area to put these uh, the cameras on. Because this is definitely designed for um, the Mobius exactly. camera that we love to use so much, but I think you could definitely fit a GoPro a little bit easier on top of there. I think, yeah, it's, it gives you a little more relief. And also, uh, like we were talking about, 
this is a lot more difficult to pull the camera plates off uh, from the frame rather than the ZMR. I mean, I think the ultimately what it comes down to is this is not a bad design it's just the jello balls are a little bit uh, less dense on um, these guys they're more of a um, tubular form instead of a ball and uh, they, they just grip the frame really really well right so we'll do a shootout video and we'll show some side-by-side -side comparison versus these guys with the Mobius versus this exact same setup same motors make sure everything's balanced out first um, and see how the vibration dampening stacks up because these are a little bit stiffer could cause a little bit more jello so we'll have to see we'll definitely check it out so for this product and other products uh, along the Emacs line and other great products that we have available on the website be sure to check it out we'll put the links in the uh, description below if you guys like these review videos and you guys like us uh, you know showing you guys different new and amazing products and don't forget to click the like button I'm Johnny I'm Josh thanks for watching what we're going to go ahead and do is cut the wires down to length just so they reach the solder points and then we'll go ahead and tin the solder points a little bit with some uh, solder and then we'll go ahead and tin each one of the leads from the ESC, the positive and the negative, and we'll go ahead and solder them down directly to the board. This will ensure a nice clean setup. Um, what I like to do usually is I'll go ahead and put the wire down on the PDB board, uh, hold it down with the solder. And then I'll find a pair of pliers or a screwdriver or something just to hold it down in 